Okay. <clears throat> All right. Welcome back. Thank you. This is the next episode. Real quick. Um, as I get better and improve maybe the background, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the panda chase theory. Mm, I don't like that it's shaking the camera. I'm going to show you the sh panda chase theory strategy demonstrated in these shoes. Now, these shoes I'm taking, I've taken these snapshots here. Uh, they're real scoreboards, so I'm going to demonstrate pretty much what it is. It's very basic, and if you need to go refer back to an older video um, that shows the ch chase, panda chase strategy that I've already posted and reiterated a thousand times, but we're going to continue to do so until you get on my side and you start using this uh, strategy and start winning some money. If you start losing some money, that's why I always disclaim, gamble, play at your own risk, gamble responsibly, um, and seek help if you need it. But uh, anyway, let's get to it. I don't want to make this video a 15-minute video, especially after saying it's going to be a short video. So it's going to be a short video, and I just wanted to give you a little rundown of what it's going to be. So as you can see, um, I have this screen scoreboard. I'm going to zoom in again one time. You can see right here. Oh, well, you can you can see right there that there was only about what is this? Two, four, six, eight, ten, about sixteen hands. Okay, so the trigger here, the first part of our strategy, panda chase, being that once we see a blue player hit, followed instantly by a tie, we're gonna bet panda for twenty five dollars per hand. Oh, can you see that? <sighs> Jesus, wow, come on, twenty five dollars per hand for the next ten hands straight. We're not gonna fluctuate the bet. Um, my bet would it be twenty five dollars? It's the it's just pretty much I don't know. Like I said, I've always mentioned this. You can do five dollars, ten dollars, a hundred dollars, fifty dollars. Just keep it the same for now. Um, if it changes or if I feel like maybe I've done enough studies to see it's profitable, um, to to kind of progressively bet higher as you go, but. I don't know. I've seen it hit on the very first hand right here, right after. So, right after the blue tie. So, would I really want to start low on that bet? Not really. So, but anyways, so 10 hands right after the blue uh, and followed by the tie. Player followed by the tie. So, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you can see we hit on the 5th and the 10th hand. Now, um... Right here, you can see that it would hit tie again. It's a nice little arrow there. You can see that it hit tie again. So theoretically, uh, we would have bet wherever that went for another ten hands. Now let's just assume we did because we can already see that the tie the tie hit there. But when this photo was taken, clearly those hands hadn't happened yet. Wish I could have stuck around for another ten hands. But if we were to do the math here. Not sure if this is simple. Out of those ten hands, you saw we hit two, two pandas. Now panda pays twenty-five to one. If you don't already know on Easy Baccarat, if you have no clue what I'm talking about right now up to this point, then you should probably be uh, looking at like a how to play Easy Baccarat or um, like what these payouts are. But just to be quick, panda is when player wins uh, with a draw has to draw to a total of eight. So it has to win and it has to be a draw to a total of eight. Um, so that's what Panda is on the Easy Baccarat. That total, that payout pays 25 to 1. So we hit that twice. We bet a total of 10 times. So we lost 8 if we won or hit it twice, right? So 8 times our $25 is 8 times 25. Pretty simple here. This pen kind of sucks, stylus. Okay, uh, $200. And $25 bet, four times 25, $25 bet times the 25 to 1 payout is 25 times 25 that equals wow 625 can you guys really read that 625 right so uh, if we times that by two pandas that we hit then that equals 625 times 2 is 1250 so 1250 let's see where is some of these strokes 12 hello 1250 minus the 200 dollars in losses that we took from the eight bets that we lost lost that would be uh 1050 profit now like i said we were going to be fair and assume that because that blue or that green right there triggered another 10 hands or chained whoa whoa, whoa. jeez i have a weight in my hand but clearly it's not working um that um <clears throat> no not really okay
Okay, so so we were gonna be fair, just assume that we didn't hit any pandas in that. But I would, huh, based on my strategy alone, I would bet that panda would come, and I would also bet that if I'm already up a uh, thousand fifty in the first sixteen hands of the shoe, then I'm probably gonna be betting dragons and pandas and ties. Back to back tie theory coming up in another future video. Can't wait to show you that one. Can't wait to get. I was gonna say this, but can't wait to get some pictures and some proof maybe even deal out some shoes on this awesome new felt board that i have here but thanks again for joining me uh, i appreciate you guys oh wait to wrap it up uh, what did i say 25 dollars bets 10 more hands assuming we lost all those 10 hands right there um then we would be at still a good old 800 dollars profit 1050 minus 250 and it's simple 800 dollars profit gosh i gotta figure out how to use this a little bit better but Thank you guys for joining me on this one. I wanted to make this quick. And I also wanted to show you that, like, you know, one, I said this in the last video. Hello, can you get the X? I said this in the last video that if you were to have come in, I kind of jumbled the damn scrambled thoughts on that one. But if you were to come in on the shoe, the trigger already happened. Hold up. Say you, these hands were already dealt, right? One, two, three, four, five, six hands already dealt. Panda's already there. You're like, dang, I missed it. No right because to me you still have one two three four hands left to be dealt before this panda ever came if you were standing there right there you don't know what's coming but you know based on let's talk box strategy of panda chase theory strategies that you're gonna bet four more times also you've already exhausted six hands total right here six four you've already exhausted six hands total that you didn't even have to bet you missed so based on timing and hopefully luck alone that your timing was right with it with oh i lost 25 lost 25 lost 25 so you lost 75 dollars then bang you hit for 20 for 625 or whatever your bankroll is whatever your scale is five ten hundred dollars mine is yeah i lost 75 and i hit for 625 so in four hands i'm up how much 550 dollars that's 625 minus 75 five 550 i made this video long again anyways all right Sheesh. thank you guys for joining me at let's talk bach um, I'm going to be doing more of these uh, scoreboard breakdowns and showing you the proof that the strategy does work. And uh, yeah, I got another one coming soon. Um, I'm not afraid to show you uh, one that doesn't work. So um, yeah, comment below if you have any questions. If it was confusing, this is the Panda Chase Theory. Go check out one of the older videos um, if you have any questions about the strategy itself uh, and how to do it. It's very simple. Um, blue player followed by tie. Bet 10 hands on Panda. Uh, for me, it's 25 bucks. So, yeah, thank you. See you again on the next episode. Thanks, guys.